Well, hello everyone, Danner with Danner Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I'm back here at the Ocean Picture Stone Quarry. I know lots of you want to see gold panning and gold mining videos. There are lots of those coming in the next month. But for now, I'm having a blast here. Today, I'm going to show you all about finding the perfect ocean scene in a piece of my ocean picture stone. Hope you enjoy. Now I'm back here at this absolute perfect face. There are millions of sections that have the perfect ocean scene in this whole face. Eventually I'll take this whole rock off someday when I can do it carefully and get it in one big chunk. Right now I'm working over there. I've been chiseling away at that rock for quite a while and it just came free on me so I'm going to pry it off and show you what we might be able to find in a rock like that because right now it doesn't look like very much. It's got dirt on top, it's all weathered and lichen on it, but I'm going to show you what in an ugly looking rock we can find because I'm fairly certain there's the perfect scene in there somewhere. Let's see if I can get it off with my hand or do I need a pry bar? Oh, need the pry bar. I'll be right back. <laughs> that was pretty easy. So underneath is just host. On top we see lots of blue. Flip it around. Okay, we see a fairly nice looking spot for a possible scene. The red host at the bottom, blue for the water, white for the sky, and we're going to see, ooh, actually that is a nice spot right there. When we start slabbing this, we're going to identify that perfect scene and make a really nice cabochon. And into the bucket it goes. So our real main goal here today is to get more premium stone. After my last video went out, I thought I had lots of premium. Within two days, we basically sold out. So Dana is up on the hill right now collecting from another site. I'm collecting from here. We need to get a few more hundred pounds of premium because wow, is it popular among those lapidary artists and jewelers. Now here on the small scale is a perfect scene. Now with this bright sun right now, and it's dry, the color isn't quite coming out right, but this is a gorgeous blue. But if you look at it, you have a beach here, you have water there with islands or rocks out in the water, and then a little bit of, you know, sky or clouds or waves out in the ocean. This is a very small piece, but you could still, with a little bit of cutting, grinding, and polishing, make a perfect scene out of that. And you know, that's like one one hundredth of a pound, if that. So in that big rock I got, which is probably about four pounds, there would be four to five hundred pieces that size in it. Maybe not all with the perfect scene. Now let's see if this next rock will come free. Pretty solid. Well, we sure got lots of rock today. Unfortunately, a lot of this I would consider the mid-grade rock, not the premium. We were hoping for a lot more premium today. There's a piece of premium. Woohoo! We were hoping for a lot more premium today, but it's getting harder and harder to find the premium rocks out there. So we're not going to have all that much to put up in the store. Unfortunately, we're running out of premium ocean picture stone. Are we ever? I'm sweating. It's hard work collecting this stuff. I'm drenched, actually. Unfortunately, some of the bigger pieces of what we definitely consider premium are proving very difficult to extract. I worked for like an hour trying to get that one out today and just could not do it. I'm thinking of getting one of those little hydraulic power pack things to put a wedge under there and try to lift it off, but some of these are difficult. I was working up there and, you know, I ended up destroying more than I could extract. It's just so, so well fastened. Hard to get some of this premium stuff. You find some nice stuff down there, Dane? Yeah, look at that scene. That's gorgeous. Ooh. We've been walking on that the whole day. Maybe I'll go grab my chisel and see if we can get that out. <laughs> yeah, I just took the chisel back. No worries. I'll go get it. 
You can tell it's loose because when you hit it, the whole thing bounces. So that's a good indication that it's already loose. Just have to find that right seam to get your chisel in. There we go, it's a coming. Looks like we're gonna get at least a one pounder out of that. As it starts breaking up on me to make me a liar. Look at the color on that, wow. That'll go in one of our chip bags. Ah, oh, broke. Half pounder, but beautiful. Maybe I'll get it. It's loose. I just don't have the energy. I run out of energy so quickly these days. See the crack forming back there? See the crack forming up here? Definitely gonna get a nice chunk out of here. Oh, 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 whatever that was, it just broke. <laughs> oh, and it was just surface. All of that work, and it was only surface. Oh, there's some nice pieces. All together, that would be one pound of premium. <laughs> so there are about six or seven pits at this site and two of them have really good material in them. The rest have mediocre. This is the bottom pit and it has some of the nicest blue that we have found right down there. But it's not really a great pit for harvesting too much in because there's very little of it here. Apparently Dana just found a piece. Woohoo! And it looks like I just found a piece too. That is some of the nicest blue we've seen but there's not much of it down here. Kind of have to just luck onto these little pieces that left over. If you show me yours, I'll show you mine. Oh. Look at that boulder up there. Ooh. 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 Ah. That is amazing. We will have to recover that next time we're here. When are we coming back? Next week? Before this video goes to air, that boulder will be gone. We got two inches of it there with inclusions, with beach, shore, islands, some white for clouds. That's a really, really good piece of premium right there if we could pop that out. That's not bad at all. Isn't this countryside just so, so beautiful? Wow. Isn't this woman so, so beautiful? Wow. Ooh, she's eating my sandwich. Okay, we're gonna take all this home and grade it into the premium and the mid-grade stones to put them up for sale on the website. Then I'm gonna take that, I showed you guys me extracting and showed you that there is a scene in there, an ocean scene. And I'm gonna to try to show you guys how we can identify that one spot, do a great slab of it, and then maybe on how we would determine the, the jewel, the cabochon that comes from it. That's the goal of this video. Not too much here at the quarry digging today. We'll see you back home. I think she just saw Sasquatch. <gasps> so we're here at the Vernon Lapidary Association's shop and we're gonna start uh, doing some slabbing off this to see if we can actually figure out and find out a good scene in this rock. Now this is the rock that I showed you, uh, me extracting it out of the hillside. And we can't really see anything great here, but closer inspection, I see hosts down here. I see some small rocks in there, 
we got blue and white. So I'm thinking if I start the slabs right there, cutting off and moving back in, that we're gonna start seeing scenes right away. That's my plan. So here's Dana's rock inside there being cut right now. A 10 inch diamond blade cutting through. We just cut one chunk off. She's just now doing a slab of it. Here's the end that was cut off of Dana's rock. Post at the bottom, lots of blue up in there, and then inclusions all the way through it. What'd you say it looks like? It looks like uh, surf. Surf. Rock, rocks tumbling in the surf. Rocks tumbling in the surf. Ocean picture stone. It's darker now than it would normally be because it's covered in the cutting oils, and that really makes it a lot darker. Very nice. Okay, we're setting up the rock right now. This was sort of the corner I wanted to work on, but we're going to set up the saw so that it slabs right off this whole edge. That'll just be a piece of scrap that falls off. Very nice scrap, yes. But then it'll tell us what's inside here that we can sort of work with to make that perfect scene. This will take about 10-15 minutes to cut on this saw. So it's nice and tight. I've got it in place. There we go. Locked and loaded. Close the lid. Turn her on. So here's the next rock that Dana's gonna slab. We can't quite tell what's gonna look like inside, but we're gonna take a nice little chunk off of this, take an inch or so off that, and then we're gonna be able to see what kind of scene is showing inside there. I think it's gonna be a beautiful one. That's a really nice color. Here's your next rock. Awesome. Where am I cutting off? Cut a, cut a chunk off this end, inch, inch and a half. Like this? Yep. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay, here, the first cut is done. We can go in now and we can back the whole thing off. We'll move it forward. We want to take slightly larger than a quarter inch slab here. There we go. We'll bring it forward till it touches the blade. There we go. And back it off a hair. Lock it in place. Might as well grab the little pieces that fell off. I don't know if those are both mine or not. Anyhow, and we're ready to get going again. So even the chip that came off that was just the waste material has almost the perfect scene in it. We've got the beach down below, the waves crashing over rocks in the ocean, and clouds in the distance. You can even see a horizon line there. That is amazing. So we're pretty sure that the first slab we get off is going to have at least that much of a good scene. I heard the saw finish, and yes, it's cut off a very nice slab here. We'll go and clean that slab up and show you what's in it, but I'm also going to go and start another slab. Release it, pull it back, crank it forward, right about there, slowly bring it forward till it hits the blade. Back it off a hair, make sure the blade turns. Lock it in place. Wait, you're supposed to scrape this on the side. I'm supposed to scrape this on the side to get the nasties off. Yeah. Ugh. Scrape off the nasties, I guess. Oh yeah, there's a scene. Close her up. Turn it back on. And it's good to go for another slab. Okay, so we have the most beautiful scene here. And this is just the first slab, so it's sort of the smallest of all of them. And I see two great cabochons. One right there, and one right there. Those two are amazing. There might be a third one here just missing the sky. But we could probably get two with sky, one without. And those are amazing. The trick here is to find the right size and shape of template. I'm going to go for circular today. And then you can see inside that circular template what the cabochon is going to look like. I need a bit bigger. Okay, so we're going to lay out exactly where we want the cabochon. Right there. Take our scriber. Make a beautiful sound. And there's our first one. Second one. And if we could make these specific sizes, but right now I'm just going with whatever looks best. Scribe on there. 
And I do see one more smaller one that will still be nice right there. This one has a crack through it, so I'm not gonna bother using that section. Now that big rock has probably 50 slabs worth of material in it, lots of them. And out of the first littlest slab, I'm able to get three perfect ocean picture stone scenes. Plus lots of little debris that's gonna cut off around it, but three perfect round one, fairly big, just over an inch, to around three quarters of an inch. As it starts drying off, you start losing the sheen and the polish kind of goes away. But once they're formed and polished, you'll get that right back. That one, I like. That is perfect. Here we go, let's cut this out. And in a later video, I'll show you how to take that rough, that slab rough cut to a rough shape and grind it and polish it down into a cabochon. But that is for another video. Now, if you'd like to purchase some of this beautiful blue ocean picture stone, I am selling it on my website at www.danherdprospecting.com. In the store, go check it out. Thanks for watching this episode of Dan Herd Prospecting. And a special thanks to my patrons out there for helping bring new content to you each week. If you'd like to help us creating new content, you can learn more at www.patreon.com slash danherd. Thanks for watching everyone. And until the next episode, bye.